Hey guys, what's up? Happy New Year. Check this out, man. It's freaking 76 degrees. 76 degrees right now in Alabama. It was 6 degrees last week. 76 today. My pond last week had a, a, like that much ice. I couldn't even get to my fish. And now they're like starving because it's the, the warmer temperatures are here and people are on the golf course. It's crazy, man. This weather is insane, but I love it. Doesn't feel like January, but it is. All right, let's talk about some things um, going into next week. First of all, as far as your, your diets are concerned, guys, if you really want explicit diet info, hit me up on my Discord. The link's below. I can just go through vague, you know, whatever, answer some vague questions on YouTube. But the best thing is if you are serious, if you're serious, hit me up in my Discord. Because I spend a lot of time throughout the day answering diet, training, anabolics, you name it. Fitness, that's what a lot of people are hitting me up for. And I love it, okay? I love it. My Discord is not just about the stock market, but definitely fitness training, everything that is involved with keeping your body healthy and in shape and attractive, okay? So one vague question I get, protein shakes, protein bars, branch chain amino acids, how necessary are they? Listen to me, if you're not eating actual meals throughout the day, they're vital. You have to take them in. And you have to count them as meals. So let's say I put you on a diet and I have you down for five meals a day. I have you intermittent fasting early in the day, but then I have you just shuttling protein into that muscle. You're never going to maintain a large amount of muscle mass on your frame if you're not shuttling protein into the muscle all day in the form of branch chain amino acids. So how do you do that? Well, numero uno is you have to eat. I would put you on five meals a day, two and a half hours apart. Okay, if you can't do that, or maybe you're a larger bodybuilder, I put you on six meals a day. If you're a smaller a female, I'll put you on four meals a day. But let's say you're a landscaper or something, and you're out in your truck, and you can't get to an actual chicken, rice, vegetable meal, uh, and you have to take in a protein bar, you're going to count that as a meal. Those aren't just wasted calories that we don't count, whether it be a protein shake or whatever. So if I have you on Four meals a day, three of those could be food, one could be a protein shake or a protein bar. You count those as meals, they're absolutely necessary. You can't skip a protein meal. That's why bodybuilders or fitness enthusiasts, people that are trying to advance in the gym, that's the number one reason they don't is because they're not eating all freaking day. And what happens when you stop feeding muscle when you stop shuttling branch chain amino acids and protein into the muscle, the muscle begins eating itself because it needs it. It has to have it. And where is it stored? Where's all the branch chain amino acids stored in your body? They're stored in the muscle. So your metabolism will chew up muscle and all, whether it be in your legs, it'll be in your chest, your arms. It just goes to wherever the amino acids are and it feeds other areas of your body. And you begin to atrophy, okay? Remember that. You have to take protein. And once you begin eating Whatever time it is during the day that you begin eating, you have to then shuttle protein into your muscle all freaking day. Don't I don't care what age you are. I don't care what your goals are in the gym. If you don't, you begin destroying muscle tissue. That's just the way it works. It's called catabolism. Catabolism. Your body eats itself. Okay. Let's talk about the stock market. Tomorrow we're closed, which is good, man, because I got tons going on in the gym and I'm super pumped. It's peak season. So I want to focus on the gym tomorrow, not the stock market, but we are stoked for Tuesday. This is what's going on Tuesday. So Tuesday I am buying back into COSM, COSM, uh, NASDAQ compliance. They're going to be pulled off the list and the announcement. Once the announcement hits, everybody's going to be pumped and stoked and woohoo. They're going to be buying up that COSM. And I'm hoping that Maybe the CEO dropped some really good nuke news to give us all the more push. So you have like the NASDAQ compliancy. They're good to go. We ain't got nothing to worry about. And then the CEO dropped some news on top of that. Who knows what it'll be, but we'll see. So I'm buying back in for that. And I'm also buying it back in for my group, my Discord. Um, because right when it started tanking, I was buying back in last round. And I went really light buying back in, and some, some of my people bought in heavy. So I might as well get back in and, and ride this thing out with everybody. And if it tanks, it tanks. If it rips, make that money, baby. All right. AMC and Ape. What the hell is going on? And does Adam Aaron even care about anybody? Uh, so as far as Adam Aaron caring about retail, man, it seems he's, it really just seems that he is just 100% in it for hedge funds himself, paying off his debt. 
When you're starving, you're going to do random wild shit for a cracker. And that's what he's doing, man. He's starving. His company's starving. Um, that doesn't mean you can't make money. So my theory is just load the heck up. I'm loading up on Ape and just scalping, 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 scalping. If you think about it, Ape is going to get pulled. That means it uh, gets shuttled into AMC as a completely... AMC is going to be a new ticker name for Ape. It's going to be a new QSIP for Ape. Uh, hedge funds are going to have to close out positions. Shorts are going to have to close out positions. Who the heck knows how they're going to do it? But even if you can get a small percentage of that, doesn't mean there's going to be no MOAS or none of that crap. But you do know something's going to happen with Ape that's going to create a rip. Might as well be a part of that. So um, also my guys, my brothers that uh, run a brokerage here in Birmingham said three months just be on the lookout three months from like a couple days ago. They're like, put that on your calendar because all hell will probably break loose on AMC. That whole conversion and everything, the reverse split, all of it, the vote, it'll be all said and done. And that's where you're going to get maximum money off of AMC. I don't know how true it is. These guys have been spot on with a couple things they've told me. So just put it on your calendar. Just put three months from today's date, put it on your calendar and let's see what happens. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm scalping Ape. I have no faith whatsoever in Adam Aaron. I have no faith in a Moass. I just believe Ape will be the better scalp. Considering what the factors are when it converts into AMC, the new QSIP, which AMC is going to have. And then I'm not even talking about the reverse split. I'm just talking about the conversion. Maximum money off of Ape. Play it can't give you financial advice to be honest with you i don't care what you do that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna scalp ape and i might as well you know get something off of this whole nonsense with adam aaron trying to at the end of the day adam aaron is really trying to one-up retail he wants the money if he had to choose between him and us it's him all day he doesn't give a shit about us if we make any money he doesn't care that you guys lost money he don't think twice about it because it's all about he's starving he needs a cracker you got what it takes. He's going to take it from you. All right? Man, there's a lot of birds out today. What is going on down there? Just got to make sure there's no big birds trying to get into my pond. Like those blue herons and shit. And then we got like these smaller herons. I don't even know what they are. They're, they got like mohawks. They look like tiny little dinosaurs with mohawks. I don't even know what you call them. I catch them around my pond all the time though. All right. Next. Kala. K-A-L-A. -A. Big Ripper. Big, big, big Ripper last week. She just kept feeding and feeding and feeding and whoa. Um, but there was no private or public offering on Kella. So that, that has me a little nervous, especially with it being a 1.4 million share float. You know they got the shares to dilute. What are they waiting for? Maybe they were waiting for after the first of the year? And set that money in motion going into 2023. Do you think they were doing that? I think they were. So I'm calling either Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm calling an offering. There's going to be an offering on Cala. There's no way in hell they are going to leave that money on the table. Okay? So if you guys are thinking about just rifling back in. Man, the birds are insane today. It's, I'm sorry I keep bringing it up, but they're just everywhere. I think it's because it's so gorgeous today. It's just they're, they're out like it's springtime. Man, this one bird is like, it looks like a uh, pelican. What the hell is this thing? Hovering over my pond. It looks like a pelican. Like what, what the hell would a pelican be doing in Alabama, man? It's full of color. Anyway. Um, I know, right? Squirrel moments, the brain, ADD, all over the place. So... Cala, guys, if you get back in, it better be quick. It just better be quick if you get back in. I, I just totally pat this CEO on the back for not doing an offering and just destroying people right at the top there when it hit 40 bucks the other day and then it hit like 42 or 43 or something. He could have done an offering right there and just trapped a lot of people. Holy shit, but he just let it go. So commend that guy. That's a good CEO. Um, basically, what COSM did to us was the worst timed offering in the history of the market everybody's locked out and then this guy throws an offering and collapses the ticker you couldn't even sell worst worst 
timing ever for an offering. But anyhow, guys, hope you all have a great 2023. Those are the tickers I'm playing as of right now because there's nothing on my radar. Of, co of course, I'm looking at other ideas for Tuesday, but you really don't know until Tuesday morning what's going to be hot and what's not. And you want to play that momentum. So, of course, something will come up on the radar Tuesday morning. But as of right now, there's a lot of tickers in play. There's a lot of news that broke Friday that could put any one of these in the lead for momentum and a scalper. We'll find that out Tuesday morning. Y'all have an awesome January. I hope your weather's as beautiful as ours. I'm going to go enjoy it. Actually, I'm going to go clean up the fireworks off the golf course. We were blowing them off uh, early last night. I didn't stay up too late. I didn't even stay up till midnight. I was sound asleep, man. But uh, now that the sun's up, I'm going to go clean up these fireworks that we blew off, make sure nothing's, uh, you know, looking terrible out there. That way I don't get in trouble. So y'all have an awesome day. Happy New Year's, guys. Doge Warrior out. Shaboom. Peace.